Hello and welcome to the second JA tutorial. Today we'll be doing another tutorial on Unity 3D. Today it's going to be on how to make a camera peek left and right for FPS shooters and such. Let's get started. So in the basic scene, uh, I have just the normal first person controller and this little platform. I'm going to place another box so the camera's moving left and right you can actually see it. Okay. Uh, this is a fairly simple script and just requires a few variables and key inputs. So, let's get started. First, can make the script. It has to be a new JavaScript. Well, we're going to be doing JavaScript. And title it peak. You can open that up and we can start by making the variables. So, we're going to need five variables for this. The first one will be cam and it's going to be a transform. The next one's going to be a uh, number value. So we're going to be next position equals uh, okay, zero. Then next position two. velocity is going to equal 0.4 and then damp velocity 2 alright so okay, down here in the update section we're going to make it var new oh, okay new another variable position. So now we're doing local positions and um, so we're doing X okay we're gonna be doing and damp velocity. is almost the same. Not one. All right, so this is Y, the up and down axis. So two, another damp velocity, and this one will also be point one. All right, so we can go a couple spaces down. All right, can uh, transform. All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, key input. So, if input dot get key is e, right? So back to this, All right? So this is so that was reading the uh, E, so the camera would turn right or move right, peak right, and then this is if you let go of the key, it will go back to the original position, which up here is zero.
closing. Okay, we're going to do another uh, key input, which this is reading if the camera is peaking left. So it's just like the same thing, except we're doing the Q key. You can change the keys to whatever you want, but um, I'm just doing uh, Q and E. So. So it's just it's it's the same values except it's negative. So yeah, pretty simple. All right, we're almost done here. Do another else. It's nothing. It doesn't need to do anything because uh, it's already right here. And then we just close it. This is all we need, and that's the script. Okay. Um, alright, let's see what's wrong. Oh, yeah, sorry. New pose, which is new position. The second one should be, has to be two, and, yeah. Oh, yep. But just make sure your script looks exactly like mine. You can see, it. here you go. Or it won't work. You can change the variables, but then you need to change um, what it's reading and everything, so just make sure you do that stuff. Okay, I can close all of this. Alright. I can add the script to the camera. Let's continue. Okay, for the vari variable for the camera, just select the uh, camera that's on your first person controller. Drag it in the variable slot. And look at my script again. Also, you have to change down here where it says next position, you need to change it to position 2 we can uh, test it play all right we have it here so if I click Q it goes to the left I'll let go centers click E it goes to the right and then it centers all right so there you go you got your FPS player and your uh, camera that peaks left and right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more and have a good day.